How do you do? It's Mr. Moo. Today I'm playing Super Neat Cat by Neat Games. If you're an indie dev on YouTube, or honestly anyone who creates content for YouTube, you know how difficult it is to have people watch your videos and support your channel. Neat Games is the first person to have commented on any one of my videos. Anytime I'm watching a devlog from channels that are just getting started, I always see a comment from Neat Games saying something really nice. He's one of the most supportive indie devs that I've personally encountered in the community, and he's just released Super Neat Cat on Steam. Spoiler alert, it's super fun. So definitely check out his channel and Super Neat Cat in the Steam store. Alright, level 1. The tutorial. Getting my sea paws underneath me. Clearly you can tell I'm having a bit of trouble getting on top of the platform. Oh, let's go. Alright, mechanics seem simple enough. Just run and jump. Easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Level 2, we got moving platforms here. Some text that, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take, a, take a moment to read it. Nanobots, infected animals, all sorts of fun things. Am I gonna die if I hit the spikes? Or, you know, I could just miss them completely. That's fine too. So now I know. Now I know what, how, how this works. So it looks like I lose half a life or half a heart every time I fall off or die or anything like that. So. Ooh, and once again, I can't even land on the platform. He's very heavy. A lot heavier than he looks. I'm making a platform right now, and it's actually pretty interesting that even though the mechanics of everything are quite simple, just run and jump. The feels of the character really gives you a much different experience and the way that you have to navigate the level is a lot different. How on earth am I supposed to get across here? Nope, that's not Failed! Uh, Alright. Not off to a great start. I was reading the reviews on the Steam page one of the people said that this game was too easy, but maybe they never played level 2. This game just has a great aesthetic to it. I love the parallax in the background. Actually, this is the game that kind of ins that made me realize that I need parallax in my own game. Um, besides the fact that the art is just really cool and the character is really pleasing and everything is just really interesting, um, it just all fits together so well. I'm still very confused as to how I'm supposed to cross this thing. Can I jump midair? Oh, I can jump midair. Oh, very nice. And here we go. End of the level. All right, not too bad. We got a game on our hands, fellas. Really cool menu. I really like it a lot. The vibe of this game is like a combination between Super Mario Sonic the Hedgehog and like Dragon Ball Z Budokai. This eagle's after my lucky charms. But I'm the one who will be taking your lucky charms today. I've played games in my life that were too easy. This is not one of them. Another one in the books. Ooh, D1. Dungeon, perhaps? Well, this is cool. This is very different. Before, the camera was just following the character, but now it looks like we have to go in different rooms. This is kind of like Celeste. This is the game that this reminds me of. Uh, going into the different rooms. The gems are reminiscent. And I love Celeste, though. I'm not complaining. Ow. 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 Ah, so when I destroy the enemy, the doors open up. Classic. This game's got great sound effects as well. Very satisfying to jump and bounce and crush and pounce. Unforgiving. Let's see if we can see all the levels. Alright, we finally made it. 
I'm assuming this skull will be the final boss. One piece of feedback I have for this game is that I'd like to be able to navigate the levels more easily. I assume after I beat all the levels once, I'm going to want to go back and replay all the ones that I need gems for. Uh, yeah, I'd like to be able to just quickly navigate through the levels. It looks really cool, and I'm really excited to see all these different terrains. Is this the first time I'm seeing these switches? That's been a lot of fun. Every level has had new mechanics or something different about it. Pretty curious to know if the rest of the levels will all have a new mechanic in them. I guess there's only one way to find out. Reach the gem! Reach the gem, you lazy cat! Jump! Jump higher! Oh, I see. I think I know what to do. What kind of sick jigsaw contraption is this? In the cave again. I just can't wait to be back in the cave again. I think the boss is gonna come after this level. So this cave is kind of like um, the victory road of Super Neat Cat World 1. Look at this poor cat's dandruff. You gotta use some head and shoulders, my feline. All right, boss one, you know what's coming for you. One fistful of claw, white claw, no pun intended. All right, what's the boss gonna be? I think they were saying some sort of robot, but in my heart, I wanted to be like a big mouse to have some sort of like reverse Tom and Jerry thing going on. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Usually I do like to read all the text in games, but I am a very slow reader, and so I didn't want to put anyone through that. Plus, you can go buy the game for $7 and find out what the text is. Alright, looks like a classic head bop boss. Gotta jump over these things. Already got punished by one of those mines. Doesn't look too bad. I wonder how many times I have to hit it, though. Oh, oh, double whammy, triple whammy. Oh! Yikes. Alright. Round two, round two. This is. Round two, here we go. Nice head bop. I'm following, I'm following, avoiding. Oh! Right to the chest. We're okay, we're okay. Just avoid him this time. Oh, boom. I took one to the chest, but I think we're okay. Come on. One more. One more, I can feel it, that's it. Ooh, no! Okay, patience, patience. No, no, no! No! Alright. Whoever reviewed this as easy has not played World 1. Maybe they skipped World 1. Maybe they just played the tutorial. Round three, here we go. Off to a good start. I'm following right behind. Avoid bullet. No, okay, maybe not avoid that bullet, but. Oh my gosh. He's just laying mines. Right behind him. He doesn't even see what he's doing. Come on. Come on. Yes! Boom. Do, do, do. Victory is mine! That's all the content I'm gonna show you all today. 
But overall, this game is really a great game, and it's a lot of fun, and it's only $7, and I was actually thinking the other day that before the pandemic, one of the, my favorite things to do is to go to the movie theater. And at the movie theater, I'd end up spending at least 20 bucks probably. Uh, and this is only $7, and I played it for about an hour and a half. Actually, I played both Worlds 1 and 2 in that time, and they were, and they were a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm definitely very happy with this purchase. And I had already spent about the amount of time I would have been in that movie theater playing this game and having a good time as well. And I have so much more of this game to go that for the price, is definitely worth it. I don't usually do Let's Plays, but I want to be a little bit more involved in the community, I think. And playing this game from someone who had working really hard to make a video game and finally see it through and has been actively participating in our community. Um, you know, it makes me want to have a bigger part in the community, and it makes me want to play everyone else's games. And this game was really fun, so maybe I'll do more of these. Maybe I'll play more indie games. If you have an indie game and you want me to play it, you know, maybe leave a comment or send me a message, and I'll be uh, interested in maybe doing more of these in the future. I have my own game that's coming out on December 22nd, 2020. It's called Lumber Party, um, and if you're interested in that, I would really appreciate it if you checked out the trailer or got, went on Steam. It is going to be free. It's an online multiplayer game, completely free. It's going to be out on Steam on December 22nd. That is all. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to make better content. Every subscription is really appreciated. That is all. See you next time.